I'm Oliver Trevina in studio with The Hollywood Reporter, joined by the lovely Sophia Pernas. How are you? Good, how good, are you? Good, good. Yeah. You were just saying how you've lost your voice. I, I, I kind know. of like this voice, actually. All right, so it's, I yeah. want to keep it. Okay, I don't know if that's possible, but... Um... Yeah, I, I don't know either, but I'd love to. Okay, well, I think you need your voice. You need your voice. <laughs> this is what you do. You yeah. are an actress. You I need know, your voice. I know, I need it. Yeah, need I'm it. glad you have it today. I'll just go for different roles, like phone sex operator. Okay, you know? okay. You went Sorry, there. Sorry, I went yeah. there. Yeah, I did. <laughs> you went there very early on as well. We were very early on in this interview. It's already gone there. Um, that was brave. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a good segue into Thank the brave, you. into Thank the brave. Um, NBC's new uh, hit show. Yes. It's doing very well. Thank um, you. Exciting times. Good. Hannah Rivera. Uh-huh. Yeah, strong and sassy. A bit like you, what I'd say, walked in that door. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, I mean, I, I got to say. No, I, I thank you for that. But it, her, she, is, she is awesome. I wish I was anything like her. Okay. Um, she's unflappable. I am not unflappable. Right. I am very easily irritable. No, I'm kidding. But uh, <laughs> she's great. And, and, and people like her embodying this role reminds you of the men and women that do this type of stuff every day. Mm -hmm. And, you know, no fanfare, no publicity, no limelight. And they right. just do it for the greater good. Yeah, it's quite hardcore. You get a real inside look into yeah. that world, um, which I guess other kind of shows similar haven't give that, given that, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so going into Hannah Rivera, she was a former operative, CIA a field, operative. field agent, yeah. Um, just, yeah. Just, just, just as you are. <laughs> Let's not forget, it's Hannah, it's not you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it yeah. is a part, part you're playing. Um, and now she's an analyst, though. Yes. So kind of like, you know, yeah, had that past. It, it's an interesting segue for her and often, sometimes even uncomfortable because she's in unfamiliar waters. Mm -hmm. She used to be in the thick of it, right? always under pressure and being able to be on the ground and make those decisions right. and now she's staring at a computer screen with an earpiece right. sometimes from a drone very much helpless mm -hmm. and I think it's a feeling that she's not very fond of sitting, sitting on her hands sitting on she's her hands she's ready to go she's ready to go she's ready to go just let, she keeps going back just let her go there you go um, the season finale's coming up yeah so can we expect maybe that she's going to end up Season two going into back well, into the field. It's funny you say that because episode eleven. Okay. She was out in the field. Right. So she got more her, permanently though. Oh yeah, more per season two. I w I think because um, the creator or, or writer Dean Jarris, uh, it was very well received by right. going out into the field. Okay. So I think she's set up now for season two okay. for it to be more of an, a normal occurrence. And does that excite you more? Oh, 100 percent. On set, you like the action. Yes, like that I mean stuff. the the guy who plays Noah Morgenthau, Tate Ellington. Mm -hmm. Him and I always make jokes right. about you know because Anne she gets to go out into the field. Right, right, right. A few episodes, you'll see her out in the field stretching her legs. Mm -hmm. Me, Tate, and I, no. Just computer no. screen. We're That's it. married right. to our seats. Right. You know, computer screen, typing away. I like to think I type at 103 words per minute. Uh, but yeah, we 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 never really get to see the daylight. Right. We shoot in the studio, so it's really exciting when either of us gets to go but out. You you did train, correct? Before yes, the show even yes, started, we did. you were trained in all the gun stuff and the. the... Which was so okay. fun. But you wild. haven't really got to show off yet. So that's I know, all in your back pocket. I know. I'm just, yeah, yeah. I'm still keeping it there. Was that, that your first kind of training in that world? With the guns no, and stuff? I, I, did, I did shoot a film in the Philippines where I had to, I had to right. be familiar with, with weaponry. But this one was very much more intensive. Um, our weapons trainer, Mikel Vega, he mm -hmm. made sure that we actually know what, we, we look like we know what right, we're doing right. up there. The ins and, and outs. Not, yeah, exactly. Right. He didn't want any of us to kill each other. He was very much like everybody. He was, he was great. Mm -hmm. He was very insistent about safety, safety, safety. That was his first thing. That's very important when you're using guns. Very important. Yeah, yeah uh, always mags out, safety on, in the holster every single time. Look at that. Um, you got it down. We got it down. Got it down. I you're mean, not carrying right now. You don't understand. I'm not. I'm okay. not hot. But you don't understand. He, if if we, if any one of those rules were disobeyed, mm -hmm. he would make us pick up a sledgehammer and beat a tire. Uh, over okay, that's hardcore training. Hardcore training. Yeah, See, it's yeah. not easy in Hollywood. So he literally beat beat safety right, into right. our heads. And this show filmed in Morocco. Yes, the which pilot. Which is where you're from. Which is where I'm from. Which is great. You got to go back home. Of all the countries of all the in places. all the world. Yeah. Very yeah. much like Amazing. Casablanca. Amazing. Yeah, uh, it was it was truly a, a stars aligning moment for me. Because uh, I saw I saw the breakdown. Right. I saw the role. I saw the location. And I was going, this I'm not going to get excited about this. I'm not going to get because it was like a role, a dream role, 
a dream location, and it was my hometown, you know. Right. Uh, well, technically, my hometown was two hours east. That's still pretty close. my home country. That's yeah. still pretty close. But, yeah, close. Were you showing everyone around? Were they asking you questions? Yeah, I mean, I was negotiating for everybody. Brilliant. A lot of people, a lot of them bought rugs, so okay. I was the go-to person for negotiations. <laughs> okay. So you were the rug negotiator? I was the rug I There's was a backup the rug job woman. there. There's I a backup the, job there. Yeah. Should it not go season two, or should it not I'm carry on? I'm going to use this voice. Yeah. Very commanding. And you can find Sophia in Morocco as At a rug negotiator. Yeah. Um, so let's take it back a bit. So Morocco, you were born, and I read somewhere, I don't know if this is true, mm -hmm. that you wanted to be a reporter. Yes. That is true. Well, an investigative reporter. Okay. Um, so that's quite a different path. <laughs> quite a different yeah, path. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't for me. I, I, I admire the profession so much, but my dad was more mm -hmm. the one strong-arming me to go right. into there. Um, I was very much into acting when I was a little kid. Okay, got it. Uh, but my dad just felt that it was so less m prestigious right, than investigative right, reporting. Right. So, yeah. Well, it's, you've done well. You keep working, which is good. Which yeah, is thank you. I know my, my dad now was like, yeah, I had it in my head all along. Yeah, I knew. I, I knew. knew. Yeah, I he knew. was going to tell you eventually. He was going to be like, yeah. go into acting. You'll do very well. <laughs> Um, so going back a bit, Young and the Restless, and then you've recurred on like Jane the Virgin, shows mm. like that. If you could guest star on any show right now of your choice, Ooh. what show would it be? Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Easy. She's a Game of Thrones fan. Easy. Peasy. There you go. Lemon squeezy. What, what would you see your role being on Game of Thrones? I'd be something like a, a derivative of, of, you know, Khal Drogo. Okay. <laughs> I could see that. I could see that. The I could female actually see version. that. Yeah. A very watered down derivative. I don't of think watered Khal down. Drogo. I think you've got that, especially with the voice now. Yes. Keep the voice. The, keep, keep the, the voice. voice. Keep the voice. Mm -hmm. Keep the voice. You keep definitely the voice. need the voice. You definitely need the voice. Yeah. Um, but people are changing the way they view TV shows, obviously. You know, you mentioned Game of Thrones, things like that. Um, what was the last show that you binge watched? Ooh, that's a good question. Do you binge watch a lot? I binge. I just binge watched all Harry Potter, the whole Harry Potter series. Oh, movies, got you. Now yeah. you can go to Harry Potter land. Yeah. Oh, I've went twice. Oh, you've been? You're already ahead of me. I've not been to Harry Potter land. In, in England, right? It's in England. No. Oh, there's another Harry Potter no. land? <laughs> there's one in Orlando. Oh, you're talking about the, the, yeah, yeah, the Harry Disney Potter land. one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I'm talking about like the, the actual... There's a Harry Potter oh, experience yeah, in London. We're going way off topic right now, but uh, Harry been, Potter no, fans, binge this watch, is great. You said binge watch. Yeah. I binge watch Harry Potter, and I binge watch another show that for the life of me, I cannot remember. Okay. So, so that great. just tells you okay. it was great. <laughs> it was great. Let's not mention it then. <laughs> um, and it's award season. Yes. So uh, lots of things going on. Any film or TV show that really stuck out to you? Big Little Lies. 100%. Big Little Lies. Yeah. Alexander Skarsgård. What a performance. Oh my goodness. All of them really. What a performance. But oh yeah, goodness. I'm with you on that. I pulled one of those moments. I, I saw him at the Golden Globe, one of the Golden Globe after parties, and he was next to me at the red carpet, and I had a total moment where I was like, oh my God, he's next to me at the red carpet. And I was like, congratulations. Oh God. I'm sure Alex loved that. I'm sure Alex loved that. I'm sure he doesn't remember a single moment. <laughs> he probably does. I mean, how can you not? How can you not? Especially, did you have that voice at the time? He likes husky I did. voices. I did. He likes I, husky it was voices. even deeper because I had just lost it. So okay. he probably didn't even understand a word that came out of my mouth. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, okay cool. Um, we're going to play a little, uh, not game, but uh, answer five questions. Okay. It's called The Hollywood okay. Reporter's Top Five. Oh. Favorite actor growing up? Betty Davis. That's a good one. Favorite career moment so far? Ooh, um, episode 11, Hannah Rivera. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Because you got in the field, see? Yeah, I got to have a lot of boss, boss woman moments. And you, you can't put this one at a desk. Simple as that. Simple as <laughs> no. that. Um, movie you loved as a kid that you wish you were in? All About Eve. I've not seen that. No. No. Ann Baxter was incredible. Okay. I watched that. Something you bought that you never thought you could afford? <sighs> I never thought. Kristen Louboutin shoes. Okay, I'm glad you, I thought you were gonna go to a, back to a Moroccan rug. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Hollywood Crush. Oh, goodness gracious. Hollywood Crush. Ooh, that's tough, I have many. Yeah, she has <laughs> many. many. <laughs> Too many's a pick, too many's a pick. Okay, Kate Blanchett. That's a good one, Yeah. that's a good one. Um, and also, just to wrap this up, you play golf. I do. Is that right, you actually play golf? I do. Play tennis? Yeah. And you play the piano? Yes. If you gave up acting tomorrow and you had to take a career in one of those, which one would you pick? If you could take any one of them? Tennis. Tennis? You'd be yeah. a tennis player? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's good. Yeah, I admire the sport. I, lo I love, love the sport. Good, like yeah. that. See, it's good to have backups in Hollywood. The rug negotiator. Ru yeah, the carpet tennis. woman, tennis, got piano. Got yeah. I could go, you know, different avenues. Irrelevant know? to what happens to the brave, 
you will be seeing more of this lady. <laughs> there you go.